You've often heard it said that heroes run toward danger, not away from it. So when a shooting broke out last year at Heritage High School, one teacher did just that. And he sat down only with 10 on your side investigative reporter Julie Malay to share how and why he put himself in harm's way. Julie. Tom, David Olivas isn't only a teacher. He also happens to be a boxing coach. He just never expected the fight of his life to happen inside a school hallway. Ding, ding, double jab. David Olivas isn't scared of a fight. He owns C4 Boxing Club in Chesapeake, where you can almost always find him. That is, when he's not at his day job as a government teacher at Heritage High School. And you said you always wanted to be a teacher, or? No. Um, I always was a teacher. What for? He's the guy you want in your corner when you find yourself on the ropes. Like the way his students did on September 20th, 2021, when a shooting broke out in the school hallway. So I was going from lunch back to my classroom and uh, I heard a pop maybe, maybe 60 feet in front of me. It was different. I saw a scattering. If you, it's a fight, everybody runs to the fight to see. You know, pop, everybody goes away. And uh, I saw that, and so I kind of just like darted forward. As any good boxer will tell you, many matches are won not by knockout, but by decision. The surveillance video shows the decision all of us made to go after the shooter. And I was trying to figure out where the pop come from, and then as I was seeing the situation, I was like, okay, there's a gun here, I don't know where. Seconds later, he found it. Then I saw the gun go up, and the shots went off. I ducked and ran and we fell and we tried to scramble up and then I saw student one go down. I was hauling butt trying to get up the hallway. It's 400 kids in the hallway at the time. I'm looking, I'm looking through the crowd. I'm making my way up the hallway and then I see um, another student kind of like pull up and I was like immediately I knew she was hit. Then he saw another student also hurt. We ran to him. He was like collapsing and trying to talk and he was um, bullet ridden you know, hit several times. Surveillance video shows the shooter run down the hallway. Meanwhile, all of us noticed that the first student he saw go down was seriously hurt. And I had six seconds to make 20 decisions. But in a moment where so many of us might break down, all of us says it was boxing that prepared him to stand up. In boxing, you learn how to control your emotions. You know, you're literally getting punched in the face and you still have to make decisions. The teacher was able to help both students. He put a tourniquet on one student's leg and helped get the other to the EMS workers outside. I feel like I did the best that I could, but it still feels like not enough. Jab, slip, slip. Never one to throw in the towel, Olivis says. Lessons learned that day have only reinforced his straight from the shoulder approach to teaching, boxing, and life. Life happens, but what you do about it kind of determines what kind of life you get to have and what life you qualify yourself for afterwards. Life happens to everybody, but the decisions we make determine what life we get to have. Both students recovered from those injuries, and all of us told me he was proud to see one of them walk across the stage last year at graduation. He's since been honored by the school for his act of heroism. I'm Julie Malay, 10 on your side.